Hi guys, I am John of uh, Get Good Painting. Wanted to have a bit of a conversation with you today about some stuff. You maybe have thought yourself that might be something you think you're the only person who worries about when you're picking up a model. Um, but I have a feeling it might be something that affects quite a lot of people, so I'm going to talk about it. I am sometimes... Um, scared of painting I'll let that sink in for a second I am someone who paints these and sometimes I am frightened of picking up a brush and putting paint on plastic it's hard because actually it stops me from getting better as a painter um, because the only way you get good at something is by doing more of it, right? And that is that is something which I know, and you know, and everyone else will probably know. Do more of something, get better at it. The great Miniac Scott says, paint more minis, and you'll get better. And that's true, and I agree, and he's dead right. But sometimes I find myself in a situation where I will do something and it won't look quite right or it will be a bit rubbish and or I'll make a mistake or it won't look as good as someone else who's done it or it won't look as great as a golden demon entry, right? And it stops me from painting. I will leave a project alone. I will sit. I mean, I've got examples of it here. I mean, this is a space mini that I'm working on at the moment. You probably can't see it all that well. But it's um, an NMM, non-metallic metal experiment. And me, in my infinite wisdom, thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try a project and a painting style and technique I've never tried before, and I'm going to use it to enter a competition. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Maybe not. I might be able to do it. But yeah. I get frightened of putting paint on plastic. And that's really quite a problem when you, your passion and your hobby is trying to paint miniatures and them looking really cool. I think the fear is fear of messing up. It's being frightened of not being able to execute the vision that I have in my head. Um, it's also a fear of churning out the same old techniques and falling back on the stuff that I find easier to do but doesn't look anywhere near as good. And it's just genuinely fear of it not being good enough. No one else is judging this. This is me doing this. It's me turning around and saying, ah, oh, it's not good enough, it's rubbish. But it's a real thing. We live in a world these days where it's so easy to kind of see um, fantastic examples. I and mean, when you look at this year's Golden Demon, and the, 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 oh, my goodness, to be even able to do a fraction of what some of the real artists are churning out, I'd love to be able to do that. I'd settle for something that looked reasonable at the moment. I'd settle for being able to advance my skill set. That's really what this channel's about. It's about me saying, okay, I'm kind of mediocre. I want to get better. And hopefully I'm going to learn some stuff and my skills are going to improve and I might well be able to talk about the things that help me and then help you and, and, and everyone else. Um, but yeah, being frightened of painting, being fearful of putting paint on plastic is a real thing, I think. Um, and it's, it's horrible because you put pressure on yourself and it stops you and you find reasons to put it off. Oh, I'll do it later. Later becomes tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, it becomes next week or the weekend or the next month. And then before you know it, loads of time has gone past and you haven't actually got anything painted. 
a fun fact about me, and this is what you'll be really surprised about. I have, I don't know, I did a quick tie. I've got over 100, maybe over 200 unpainted plastic models. Most of them not even built. I'm, I've got a new oodles of paint. I've got loads of brushes. I've got um, loads of other stuff for helping me do my job in terms of painting. Not my actual job, but you know what I mean. And I have to date only got four 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 fully painted miniatures and when i say fully painted that's me looking at it going yeah i can't do any more with that i'm happy with it i'm i've based it it's cool it i'm happy with it it looks good i'm stopping there it's finished four that's not enough. For as much as I love the hobby and I love doing what I'm doing and I'm okay when it works, painting four minis is not going to get me anywhere. Crikey. 400 minis down the line, I still might not be great. I might not be that good. Probably won't be. I should be better though if I've done that many. So really, this is just me saying, you know, yeah, I have a passion for painting minis. I've got loads of unfinished projects, but they're all stop at the same point. And that same point is when I make a mistake, something doesn't go to plan, um, there's an error, a flaw, I cock up, I find a reason to stop. And then a period of time goes past. The next time I come back to it, I think, right, I need a new start. I need to start again. I can't do that other one that I was doing because I've just messed it up. So then that becomes another unfinished project. So for me, this is me saying, hiya. I'm... My name's John. And I have a problem with painting miniatures based on me being frightened of painting them. No more, no less. So if this is you, if you feel a bit like this, then, you know, you're not on your own. You're not the first person, probably not going to be the last person. Because I have a feeling this happens in a lot more cases than, you know, we really talk about. I am... Um, but yeah, I have this issue and I want to try and work through it. And I want to try and work through it by painting more miniatures. I want to try and work through it by putting more pressure on myself by talking to you guys about the stuff that I'm doing when I'm painting. Um, I want to get myself to a stage where I can hopefully film some of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, and then you can share in the horror um, and actually we can all kind of see that it's not that big a deal if it's not perfect and it looks good enough and job done, move on to the next one. So yeah, that's me. That's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, sticking with the ramblings of a beardy older man. And we'll catch up soon. Hit like, hit subscribe, do the thing. Catch you in a bit.